So, in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can install and set up Box86 and Wine on your Raspberry Pi OS. And so, if you don't, if you're not familiar with what that is, this is a software that will be able to emulate x86 Linux apps and x86 Windows apps. So it still is very, like, it can't run every app you throw at it. So you need to keep that in mind. But it can run a good amount of apps, and it works very well. And a lot of people don't know how to set that up. So I'm going to be showing you guys how you can set that up. And also a few other softwares I'm going to be showing you guys how you can install on your Raspberry Pi OS. So to get started, to make this process a lot easier, we're going to be using a software called Pi Apps. So I just open up Google, search Pi Apps, and it should come up right here. It's made by BotSpot, and it's a great software center for Raspberry Pi OS. So you just scroll down right here, and to install Pi Apps, all you have to do is get clone the project and install it. So you just copy that command, open up a terminal, paste it, hit enter, and now this is going to install Pi Apps for us. It says YAD is required but is not installed. Install now. Yes, I want to install it. It's also going to make a desktop icon for us, so we can easily launch it. And there we go, installation complete. So I can close that up, and I can just hit this icon right here, execute in terminal. And here we are, with Pi Apps. So look at here, we have tons of apps, so definitely scroll through this and see all of these amazing apps that you can install with one click of the button on your Raspberry Pi. So definitely take a look at this. But we're going to be fo focusing on Box86. So I could do this by git cloning the Box86 GitHub page and then installing it. But this just makes it so much easier and faster. All I have to do, click Box86, go install. And it'll open up a terminal. And now it's going to git clone the project and install all the software needed to get Box86 up and running on your Raspberry Pi OS. Okay, so you see Box86 is successfully installed on my device, so it says closing in 30 seconds. You can just do that yourself to save some time. And yeah, Box86 is installed on our system, and to make sure that it's installed, all you have to do, open up a terminal, type in Box86, hit enter. And if all these things come up for Box86, that means that it's installed on your system. And yeah. So now, what a lot of people want is to have Wine so they can run Windows programs. And to do that, there's a lot of commands to do that, so I made this little text document here. All these commands will be in the description, so you guys can go just straight there and copy them all over. So this first part, I'm just going to take this all and I'm going to copy it. And what this is going to do, it's going to download the Wine for us and then it's going to install it on our system. So I'm just going to paste it in here. Right now, it's going to download the deb file that has wine included and it's just going to install it on our system for us and here now it's installing wine for us when you see this that means that is it's trying to install it now that actually does not take that long now it's installed. Now we just have to link some stuff to our user bin. So you're just going to copy these four commands. Copy. Open back your terminal and paste it in here. You're just going to hit enter. And that's all you got to do. And now to boot Wine for the first time, you're just going to take this. Copy. Wine, Wine, Boot. You're going to paste that in there. Hit enter. And it's going to just turn on Wine for us for the first time. And now it's going to say the Wine configuration and HomePie Wine is being updated. And yeah, so Wine is just getting successfully set up on our system right now. So this part does take a little bit and you're going to have to be patient. So it says Wine Mono Installer. And this is something that I think you need. So you're going to go install. And it's going to download Mono for us and install it. Once Mono is installed, you're going to get a thing saying Wine Gecko Installer. And this you're also going to want to install. So you just hit install, 
and that should start installing for you. And when it's done, Wine will close up and you'll have it ready to go. So, now that we have Wine, but some software to run with Wine requires a thing called Wine Tricks. And we're going to need to install that. So, we're going to have to get clone Wine Tricks and then we're going to install that. So, first, you just copy this first part. So, even if you're not going to use it, I would recommend doing this because in the future, you, there might be a time when you do need this software. So, it's just good to go ahead and install it so you have everything ready to go. Paste it in there. And now we have Wine Tricks all located in the right place. And Wine Tricks needs this one more software called Cave Extract. So you just hit that in the terminal and it should start installing for us. Once that's done, we can boot up Wine Tricks and then we'll be all ready to go. So right here, I'm just going to copy this. This command is the command you're going to use to open up wine tricks you have to do this weird command for it to run correctly with box 86 so I just hit enter and it's executing these different things and getting all the stuff needed ready okay so now you're gonna have to install net framework and I just go I have re ex read and accepted terms of license agreement and I don't click that because I don't need that I'll just click install. So now it's going to start installing Net Framework for us, and which some software needs to run correctly. So this can take a while. It did take like a good 10 minutes for me last time I tried this, so just be patient. Okay, so it's done installing for me. Now I have Wine successfully installed on my Raspberry Pi. So to test Wine, we can open up our terminal. And we can go wine, and you see right here, it comes up with box 86, so we know this version of wine is correct, and it's running with box 86. So now to test out a program, the most basic wine program is 7-zip, and we know that it's going to work, so let's just see if our wine is successfully installed. So we can just Google search 7-zip. Go over to their website, download. But you want to make sure you want to download it for 32-bit Windows because 64-bit Windows is not going to work. Okay, so now to test this, we can open up our file explorer, go over to downloads, and right here we have 7-zip.exe. So we're going to go tools, open current folder in terminal, and we're going to go wine. 7z what's it called 1900.exe and you're going to enter and now it's going to try to run the exe file for us and here we are here is the installer 7zip190 setup so you're just going to hit install and it's going to copy over all the files and it says 7zip is installed so we can close and close up our terminal and now try to launch that okay so here's something cool that raspberry pi os does you click on the raspberry pi icon and now we have a little thing right here called wine and we can go to program 7-zip 7-zip file manager i can click on that and it should launch and here we are this is windows 7-zip running on our raspberry pi os with no problem you could add a folder and extract it and do all kind of stuff so I mean it's pretty cool and you could inst all the apps you're gonna install are gonna show up in wine right here so you'll be able to easily access all of your Windows programs and this does work with a lot of games and stuff so if you have games you can try them out and to know more information about this you can always check out the Pi Labs discord server and there's a whole list of working games there and work games that do not work so that's that's for the Windows part and for the box 86 part an app for example would be zoom and zoom you can install by yourself or you could just use the help of Pi apps or PyKiz. both of those work so all you gotta do is click install and it says, do you want to overwrite the latest version of Box86? And I do not want to do that because we just installed it. 
So it will just go ahead and install Zoom for us. I mean, this is just to show you guys that how Box86 works. I mean, there are tons of applications that you could go through and test, but I'm not going to be doing that in this video. So it's just downloading Zoom right here for us, and then it will make the desktop icons and the application launchers and stuff for us. We'll just give it a little bit of time. And here we are, installed Zoom successfully. I can close that up. And if we go over here to Internet, we have Zoom. So I click on Zoom and it opens up the terminal. Because this is with Box86, the terminal windows window needs to be open for Zoom to run. So of course the launch does take a little bit longer than you would probably like. But it works. Here we are, Zoom Cloud Meetings. This is Linux x86 Zoom running emulated on our Raspberry Pi OS. How great is that? Yeah, so both of these software softwares are amazing. Box86 Wine, just the thing that you could do this emulating is just amazing. And yeah, I really love it. And to close Zoom, we just close that up. And there we go. So PyApps is a great help for this. It helps you so much. And you can install tons of software. Definitely check this out. Definitely do this on your Raspberry Pi OS. And let me know how it goes down below. And in my next video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I theme my Raspberry Pi OS. Like I did in my last video, I showed what my theme looked like. So in my next video, it will be like a how to how to theme Raspberry Pi OS. So if you want, don't want to miss that video, please hit that subscribe button. And yeah.